Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. And to solve this equation, we are going to start by simplifying these two terms. Now, here we have log to this x of 5 times root 5. But of course, you know that 5 is equal to root 5 times root 5. So this is the same as log to this x of root 5 times root 5 times root 5. And of course, we can write this as log to this x of root 5 to the power 3. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule of logarithms to this term. That is the rule that says that we can bring this exponent 3, the exponent of root 5, down to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we apply this rule, this term becomes 3 times log to this x of root 5. But now I want to remove x from the base of this logarithm. So let us recall that log to base a of b is equal to 1 over log to base b of a. So this term is the same as 3 times 1 over log to base root 5 of x. Now in this term, we can write this as log to base root 5 of root 5 to the power 3, just as we have already found here. And once more, remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. So log to base root 5 of root 5 to the power 3 is equal to 3. So that means that this term is equal to 3. Now let us rewrite this original equation in terms of these two simplifications. So the equation is now the square root of 3 over log to base root 5 of x plus 3 is equal to minus root 6 over log to base root 5 of x. And of course, you know that at this point, we need to do a substitution since we have this here and we have that. So let log to base root 5 of x be equal to the letter d. Now with this substitution, we can rewrite this equation as the square root of 3 over d plus 3 is equal to minus root 6 over d. Now let us look at this equation. On the right hand side of this equation, we have a square root, which must be positive. And in this numerator, we also have a square root, that is the square root of 6, which is a positive number. But look at this, we have a negative sign. So that means that the value of d that will satisfy this equation must be negative. So we have that d must be less than zero. I did not say less than or equal to. I said that d must be less than zero. Now to solve this equation, let us square both sides of this equation. When we do that, this square is going to take care of this square root, leaving us with three over d plus three. And minus root six squared, of course, is equal to six. And d squared is equal to d squared. Now to get rid of these two fractions, let us multiply through this equation by d squared. 3 over d times d squared. Of course, this will take one of that away, leaving us with 3d. 3 times d squared is 3d squared. And this is equal to 
6 over d squared times d squared, this will simply take care of that, leaving us with 6. Now, rearranging this equation, we have 3d squared plus 3d minus 6 is equal to 0. And we can factorize this equation. Let us do that using the table method. The factors of 3d squared are d and 3d. And the factors of minus 6 are 2 and minus 3. Now, d times minus 3 is minus 3d. 3d times 2 is 6d. 6d minus 3d is equal to plus 3d. So that tells us that we can factorize this left-hand side as d plus 2 multiplied by 3d minus 3. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, from here, we have that either d plus 2 is equal to 0 or 3d minus 3 is equal to 0. When we subtract 2 from both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to minus 2. When we add 3, to both sides of this equation, we have that 3d is equal to 3. And when we divide both sides of this equation by 3, we have that d is equal to 1. So we have found two values of d, minus 2 and 1. But remember that d must be negative. So this value of d is unacceptable. We have that the value of d that satisfies our equivalent equation is d equal to minus 2. Now, to find the value of x, we go back to this equation. We have that log to base root 5 of x is equal to d, which is equal to minus 2. And of course, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that root 5 to the power minus 2 is equal to x. So we have that x is equal to root 5 to the power minus 2. But of course, you know that root 5 is the same as 5 to the power half. And this is to the power minus 2. And of course, you know that when we have two powers like this, to get rid of this bracket, all we have to do is to multiply the two powers. Half times minus 2 is equal to minus 1. So x is equal to 5 to the power minus 1, which is the same thing as 1 over 5. So the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is 1 over 5. Now, to check our answer, let us substitute 1 over 5 for x into the original equation. What we are going to do is that we will evaluate these two terms before introducing the square root. So here we have log to base 1 over 5 of root 5 cubed. Remember that 5 root 5 is root 5 cubed. This is plus 3. Now we have log to base 1 over 5 of Root 5 is 5 to the power half, and this is cubed. Then we have plus 3. Of course, you know that to get rid of these brackets, we simply multiply these two powers. So this is the same as log to base 1 over 5 of 5 to the power half times 3 is 3 over 2 plus 3. But of course, we can also write 5 as 1 over 5 to the power minus 1 because the reciprocal of 1 over 5 is 5 and then we have this raised to power 3 over 2 then we have plus 3 once more we multiply these two powers now we have log to base 1 over 5 of 1 over 5 
to the power minus 3 over 2. Now, remember that log to base a of a to the power b is equal to b. So log to base 1 over 5 of 1 over 5 to the power minus 3 over 2 is equal to minus 3 over 2. We still have plus 3 and this is plus 3. But of course, we can write this 3 as 6 over 2. Now, these two fractions have the same denominator. So this is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 over 2. And then finally, we introduce the square root. So on the left-hand side, when we substitute x equal to 1 over 5, what we have is the square root of 3 over 2. So we have that the square root of 3 over 2 is equal to now, on the right-hand side, we have minus root 6 over, remember that log to base root 5 of x, we calculated to be equal to minus 2. So this is over minus 2. Of course, this is going to cancel that. And we have the square root of 6 over 2. Now, let us rationalize this. Of course, you know that to rationalize this, we have the square root of 3 over the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Root 3 times root 2 is equal to root 6. Root 2 times root 2 is equal to 2. So on the left-hand side, we have root 6 over 2. And on the right-hand side, we have root 6 over 2. So you can see that the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side of the equation when x is equal to 1 over 5. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.